so pretty. Again, everyone. I'm usually pretty good at knowing where I am, but this has got me quite thrown off. I think it's all grass. I'm not too sure. But it's turned like white, and I don't really know. But I found a little path and I followed it. I also found a bottle. I was sitting on a tree stump, crushing a bunch of mushrooms, and I felt bad for the mushrooms, so I took the bottle. Hey, little puddles. There's a whole bunch more back over there, too. And then another one right there. That tree's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen so many mushrooms out here. They're all over the place. I'll never know why I find it so beautiful up here, but I just do. Especially now with all the birch trees turning yellow just over there in the clearing. It's so funny. I still don't know what this whole section is. It's just like this big dip. I don't really know what it ever was, but it grows a lot of long grass down there now. And it's kind of unique. I like it.
Carl López. Ay, no lo quiere. He's so close. He just popped up. Ah, oh, sweetheart. Oh, look at you. You're so tiny. November 6th. Um, this is actually Fort Steele. Fort Steele's just back and like kind of like up over there. And then across the river there is the road out to Norbury Lake where I've gone quite a few times before. Um, this is actually just some paths over by the Kootenai River. I've been here a couple of times. I haven't been here very much so I wanted to go explore this all a little bit more. Uh, it's been very, very busy for me. Uh, this whole week kind of has. We got a whole bucket load of snow a couple of days ago, which made us go down and get winter tires put on the car. So I have winter tires now. At the expense of my poor credit card. It looks terrifying now. Um, and then I ended up getting pulled over last night because of my N and my one headlight being out. Which I knew about, I was gonna get it fixed, but I got a fine for my N. I've gone through 11 N stickers in the last three years due to them constantly being stolen from me. So I always get fined for not having it on my car. I have a new one now. I have a spare for the next time it happens. And then I had to get my headlights put in today, so I brought new headlights. And I had to go down and pay the fine. And yeah, it's been it's been quite busy this week and particularly today. But despite it pouring rain, it's still rather really beautiful out. It's very foggy right now. So I figured it'd be a nice little time for a little walk out in the woods before all the snow and ice sets in. So Get a little break in from the chaos of today. But, yeah. I know my Halloween was quite good. I filmed some of the like, seance, ritual, whatever you want to call it, for my mom. I did speak to her. I did see her. She was there. She did appear to me. Oh. Just the sound of the rain falling on all of these leaves. Oh, I could listen to that forever. I love it. But, yeah, it's quite rainy today. I'm enjoying it. And then I think I'm going to go home. It's laundry day today as well. So the husband's been at home just doing all the laundry and trying to get that caught up. We were like a week behind on laundry. My poor house again. It's so messy. But... Well, he's almost done. We have one more load that we got to do tomorrow, quick, and then that'll be done. And yeah, I just think I'm walking in like an old creek bed right now. What I'm walking on? I might have been following. I think it's kind of a trail, but it's like so sunk in that I actually think it's like creek bed. But either way. It's very pretty out here.
so pretty. Well, I'm officially soaking wet. <laughs> and my hands are a little numb. <laughs> and I'm kind of cold. My glasses are fogging really badly out. But that was good. Oh, that was so good. Good morning. Oh. I know you're still waking up and you filmed the whole way out here, but I forgot to turn on a silly little setting on my phone called Super Steady that helps to limit the amount of shake. So the whole video is super, super shaky now. <laughs> and you can tell how much my poor phone was bounced around because the thing's having a hard time holding it still. And of course, it's dirt road all the way out here and it's full of potholes now. <sighs> So here's a little glimpse of my, my ride out here. I'm very sorry that it is shaky as all get out. But I promise the footage from here on out will be much, much better. <laughs> so my super steady is on now. So yeah, but it was still a beautiful drive out here this morning. We're up in Gold Creek. I'm gonna wander out some of the paths and find a little spot in the river and try to get some photos this morning and stuff like that. So I figured I would bring you guys with me because I normally don't have the chance to go get morning photos, but today I do. So let's go. <laughs> so pretty. I'd love it. Like the out spot, the water. Oh, so pipe. That's what I was thinking of. I gotta find a beautiful little waterfall up there that I took some video of. There's quite a few along here. I just I can't really get to the rest of them. And then unfortunately, my path kind of runs out. I'm on this nice little trail. It kind of continues behind me there a little bit. But as soon as you get just a little bit up that hill there, honestly, I can't tell if they're like dog tracks or if they're wolf tracks. But either way, it splits into two animal paths. And it kind of looks like there's a human footprint there, but I can't be sure because it also kind of looks like just like three footprints all kind of in a row. And if there's no human footprint there, it's probably not a dog. I'd say all those footprints here, they're mine. <laughs> and then like this little section that I haven't worked on, there actually isn't any footprints that I'm seeing. Lots of deer ones, and what looks like kind of like puppy tracks, but not the same size as a dog, but I'm not seeing, not seeing many human tracks, though. so, like footprints. So I'm thinking I probably made the better bet, and turned around, now I'm heading back to the car, I'm quite cold now, <laughs> but I've got some beautiful photos that I'm going to go home and post, I haven't posted all week. And I'm really trying to post a little bit more often, and I think I might sit down and start stringing all of this together because it's getting a little bit behind now. I think my first clips are from the middle of October, which, in all honesty, that's like still less than a month, which is better than usual. I usually have clips that are like three or four months old that I'm trying to use, but I'm fairly on top of it this time, so... I think it'll go pretty good. And then I have a kind of slow day, pretty relaxed day. I might make the regrettable decision to turn my Sims on again, but lately I've just needed some more quiet. 
quiet time or downtime. My house cleaned up, I got little things sorted out. Aside from being to grocery shopping, I'm mostly caught up now. So I've been just kind of enjoying some downtime and some me time. Yeah, I think I might catch up a little bit. The house. And I love kimchi ice. I love it. We're at Kukanusa. I managed to wiggle the car down. It was a bit rocky coming in, but I managed it pretty good. We got cocoa and snacks and got the kiddo out here and the man. And yeah, it's super pretty. I'm not used to this whole like inlet being here. I remember when all of this all along here was actually just like sand like this. And I used to actually go camping out on that side over there. But you can't really reach it anymore. It's kind of like an island now. So, yeah. I don't know if just Kukanosa rose up a little bit and washed it out. Over there, it kind of looks like they made it a break so it could flow in and out. So, yeah. Muddy boots. It's mud. Yep. It used to be all sand out here. Now it's mud. Yep. Did you and hot cocoa, Didi? Yep. My shoe was stuck. <laughs> Did you get stuck? My shoe was stuck. I'm serious. Uh oh. My shoe! <laughs> yeah, don't walk in there too far. You might actually lose your boots. I'm on the rock. Mm Good morning. So I'm actually out at Norbury. And this is probably the most beautiful morning I've ever had out here. It's just before. I've been out here many times and I've seen a lot of beautiful mornings out here. But I don't think I've ever seen anything like this.
Well, I can definitely say after probably 20 or more minutes, I finally found my way through that whole side of the lake, which was quite a challenge. <sighs> but finally at the dock. And I wanted to be. Hello again everyone. So I just wanted to catch you guys up a little bit because we are getting close to the end of this vlog and it is December 20th today and whew, life has been a little bit busy this last couple of weeks here. This last two weeks I think we have done more with this house than we have all year. So we've moved actually the desk here out of the living room and we actually rearranged some of this room so that we could also fit the clockworks back in here too. Actually opened up the living room so much and in here is not actually as crowded as you might think. It's actually going pretty good. We I can finally paint again on a table instead of the floor which is going to be so great. And then when I'm working on my vlogs and photos and stuff like that and posting again, my partner Brad, he can work right next to me at what will be a clockwork station. It's quite messy right now. We still have some tidbits to do with it, but yeah, we'll be able to work side by side again. And we have a bit of an office again. And then we also have a living room again, which is great. Of course, after we got everything set up in here, one of the first things I just had to do was I actually used this table you know, a bunch of doodling again because I have a little project this year that I'm working on. I'm still kind of planning it out so I'll be sharing it with you guys in the new year. Can't guarantee how quickly or slowly this is going to go but I was once again very inspired by Yomi Yinton and her work so yeah it was quite nice to just have the evening here and just enjoy the time drawing and having this beautiful setup and yeah I just I can't wait to see what this all turns into so I'll have more for you more information in the new year. Yes other than all of our other work that we've been doing in the house we have got out a little bit but this winter has been incredibly weird. It's it keeps trying to snow and it snows enough to cover the whole ground but then it gets really warm right afterwards, so it starts raining, and then it all melts away. So none of it's actually staying, it's just being this weird back and forth of snow for a couple of days, and then it gets really warm, and stuff like that. And so it's not the winter and Christmas that we're used to by any means. We are five days away from Christmas now, and there's... Well, I'll just show you guys. This is what it looks like outside. So... Yeah, there's really not <laughs> not too much happening for, for winter, so we've got out, we go out for quite a few little breaks on drives every now and then. We've got out of town quite a few times now. As soon as you leave Cranbrook, winter's happening. <laughs> Winter is happening everywhere but here, it seems. And so we like to go out for a little break, so we haven't really got out and really wandered around too much. We've been pretty cooped up in the house lately, but yeah, we've, we've made it work. So we've also actually got set up pretty good for Yuletide and Christmas this year. So I've made a couple of little ornaments, just homemade. There's not very much to it, it's pretty simple stuff and there's not very many of them, but We've got kind of crafty this year a little bit. We've been, there's still a few more days left so I can get, still get a few more made, but yeah, it's it's been a little bit tough to try to craft this year, unlike other years. And then baking as well. We haven't baked half as much as we usually do, but we've started a little bit. We've done a couple of things, so yeah, baking and crafts, they're happening, but very, very little this year. Alrighty, so I think that's about all I have for you here at the end. 
So now that I've got you all caught up on the eyes, I will leave you with all of our best holiday wishes. Wishing you the best for the new year and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, which whatever you celebrate that is, of course. And I hope you manage to do whatever you can and make the best of the time that we still have left here in 2023. See you next year!